Good morning. I'm at the gym and it is 2.30 in the morning. Why so early? Well, three days out of the week, I have to be at my job at five in the morning. And it usually ends up being like a 12 hour shift. And if I'm gonna get any kind of working out done, it has to be in the morning because I guarantee you, motivation is very hard to summon in the afternoon after you've pulled off a hard day of work. You ever get off work and then know that you gotta go to the gym, but like, oh, I don't feel like it. Well, you know, I'll, I'll get it tomorrow kind of stuff, you know. Well, you don't have to worry about that early in the morning. And some of the best tricks for uh, coming to the gym this early in the morning is to having your stuff ready the night before. Like I have my clothes laid out right on the floor uh, the night before. Um, that way, before I even realize that it's like two in the morning, I'll have drank some of the pre-workout and I'm already at the gym. And at that point, I'm pretty wide awake and I can usually get better workouts early in the morning. The other fun thing about working out this early in the morning is that there is hardly nobody here this time of day. Um, if you were to go into the gym and let's say that you needed to hit the bench, there's only maybe two or three people here. The likelihood that you need to get to all the machines or the equipment you need it's pretty good. You know, need to get the cardio in, treadmill. Well, there's maybe two people here today and there's like 20 treadmills. I can't exactly film myself working out this morning because I have to work out on these days without Amanda for the most part. Uh, see the reason I burned 300 calories uh, is my active calorie goal for the day is 600. It's just a number that I strive for daily. I ran on the treadmill for 20 minutes to get 300 calories and then uh, the rest of the day I can coast and and just get to 300 just by walking around and doing my job because my job is not very physically taxing at all um, so I try to burn as much as I can early in the day and then the rest of the day I can pretty much coast Well, it's about 3.30 in the morning now, and there's even less people here than there was when I first got here, which there was only like three before, so now there's like zero. But um, the workout's over now, and I'm getting ready to go home and get ready for work. Uh, and today, today's workout was kind of more of a supplemental workout. The focus of today was legs, and which I try to get like five sets of squats in. Uh, in a pyramid fashion, I start out with a light weight at first, then I do that many, many reps, and then I add more weight, do less reps, add more weight, do less reps. And so that way it'll help burn some extra fat and uh, build muscle that way. Basically, I hit legs three times a week now. Uh, the reason being is when you were heavy as I was, uh, 345 pounds you lose 165 pounds you get loose skin and uh, my loose skin hangs around my abdominals and uh, and like my thigh areas so I'm trying to hit that three times to try to help smooth it out you know stretch out the skin a little bit more I, I, I hate the way it looks but 
um, we're working on it uh, every day. And of course, uh, I try to hit abdominals and cardio every day. Um, the one thing that doesn't really change as much as people think is when you lose that much weight. Um, like when I lost it, I didn't really lift weights when I lost my first 100 pounds. So when I got down to my goal weight, uh, I ended up looking like a miniature version of my bigger self, if that makes any sense. I, um, I was much more smaller, I had a smaller waist size and everything, um, but I, I, I still, uh, you know, had a gut. And I, but, like I said, I went from a size 46 in pants to a waist size of 34. Well anyway, the workout's over, you all have a good day, and I'll see you next time.